was training to do a century with my daughter. We we're gonna go for hundred miles together. So I was doing a training ride and I forgot my mirror, which I normally wear on my glasses. And so I didn't see the car coming up. So when I made a right turn to go around, got hit. That's the last I remember other than waking up a month later with two tubes coming out, a trach and a GI tube for feeding. I couldn't see myself there for another 30 years. I talked to the social worker at the nursing home and are you going working for them or are you working for me? And then she gave me a brochure for CPWD. I met Ed in April of 2009, and he was looking to get out of the nursing home. We helped guide him to do all the things that he needed to do. Tim came by and learned the bus system and got the Section 8 so I could get the apartment. Ed reshaped his life. I, uh, we didn't. This is our mission, and that's to, to help people live independently in a community, making their own choices. H had Ed stayed in the nursing home, he would cost taxpayers about $360,000. So he saved us over a quarter million dollars just in pursuing his, his path here. It is that clear. It's the way that you know uh, we should treat our neighbors. I keep improving, like an energizer bunny, I keep going. I practice yoga because it helps your back straighten out so you can walk straighter. It also helps your mind straighten out. If you have your mojo, higher success. You may, might have high expectation, but you have realistic expectation. And you hold on to your successes. That's what puts you forward. It's important to have purpose in life, to be able to contribute to the community. I figure they got me out, they got the bus system working, now it's time to get other people out.